experiments. Why are they done? Social sciences are a discipline which does not allow for a large scale experiments. In order to find a solution to a certain theoretical or practical problem, academicians try to find an answer by responding to important questions in so-called thought experiments. Such experiments were, for instance, done in the past by Hobbes and Locke. Hobbes and Locke are important political philosophers who tried to find reason, scope and limits of governments conducting such an experiment. Imagining what would happen if certain conditions, for instance the governments, did not exist. Hobbes, 17th century, the government is an effect to treatment of people who decided to give their rights and liberties to the government. Otherwise, they risked falling into the state which he called bellum omnis contra omnes, the war of all against all. To prevent this the government takes liberties away from individuals but provides important rules that make peaceful social life possible. Another thought experiment came from John Locke, 17th century, who assumed a less pessimistic initial state. People delegate their liberties to government, but only to protect their natural rights. But if that is not the case and their natural rights are not protected, the government is not legitimate. Such an idea has had consequences also for understanding of politics and this idea has had a real impact on the development of modern society, which changed the belief that kings are sent from God to one in which they are part of a social contract and can be deprived of their rights if they don't keep it. Effects a glorious revolution 1688 and a change in political systems towards a more just direction. The power of the idea and such thought experiments is astonishing and in the next video you will see the next modern idea of justice as fairness.